If you haven't done so yet, make sure you first pause the video and try to solve the question on your own first before listening on. We're actually going to look at what happens to this mass M following its collision with the bullet. So let's come over here and make a little drawing. Now we know that after this mass M collides with the bullet, it's going to be moving with a certain velocity and that velocity would be pointing to the right side. So let's go ahead and make a little velocity vector here and we'll just label that uppercase V to represent the velocity of this object after it had collided with the bullet. Now of course after the collision it's going to be moving and it's going to swing upward in a circular path until it reaches about this position right here. And what's important to note is that the question wants the minimum value of the bullet's speed so that the bob will barely swing through a complete vertical circle. Now, if this object is going to barely make it through a vertical circle, that means that right at the top of its motion, its final velocity is going to be zero. So we can mark that VF would equal zero up here. Now, we know that we can conserve mechanical energy as the bob moves from its lowest position up to its highest position. And the equation for the conservation of mechanical energy would look like the following. Let's look at the initial position where the bob is moving. Because it's moving, we would initially have some kinetic energy. And then once it reaches the top of its circle, because it's not moving any longer, there is zero kinetic energy, but there is gravitational potential energy because the bob is now located at some height from its original position. And because of that height, it has that gravitational potential energy. Note that the length of the string right here was L and that this length also would be L. Therefore, the total height that the bob is located above its original position would simply be twice L. Now we're going to be taking the initial kinetic energy and setting that equal to the final gravitational potential energy. Kinetic energy is one half times the mass times its initial velocity squared. The initial velocity was uppercase V. And then gravitational potential energy would be the mass times G times its height. Remember the height was two times the length of the string. We can multiply both sides of this equation by two so that the right hand side is actually going to become four mgl. Notice the 4 came from multiplying this 2 by 2. We could divide both sides by the mass m, so it cancels out, and then take the square root of both sides. So we can see that the velocity of the bob right after the collision is going to be the square root of 4gl. We can simplify that a little bit because the square root of 4 is 2, so that comes outside of the radical, leaving underneath just a gl. Remember, this is the final velocity of the bob after the collision. We're going to hold on to this value and use it momentarily. Next, since there was a collision between the bullet and the bob, we can actually conserve momentum. And that simply means that the total final momentum of our system is going to equal the total initial momentum. Let's look at the final side of the equation first. We know that the bob is moving with this velocity right here. Remember, this is the final velocity of the bob after it had collided with the bolt. So we would take the mass of the bob and multiply it by that final velocity. We would then add the momentum of the bullet. Now for that, we would have the bullet's mass multiplied by its final velocity, which is V divided by two. And we're going to set that equal to the initial momentum. Initially, the bob wasn't moving, and so there will be zero initial momentum for the bob. But the bullet was certainly moving with a velocity v, so we would have lowercase m times v. Now, we want to solve this equation for the value of v. And to do that, we can first multiply every term by 2, including the term on the right-hand side. And that's convenient because this 2 and that 2 will cancel out. And then over here, we're going to have 2 times 2, so that's going to make 4. Next, we can subtract mv from both sides of the equation. And that's going to leave us with mv on the right-hand side, and then this term 4 uppercase m times the square root of gl. And then finally, we can divide both sides of the equation by lowercase m. It'll cancel out on the right-hand side. And we can therefore see that the velocity that the question is asking for is simply 4 times the mass of the bob times the square root of gl all divided by lowercase m. Now it's not possible to actually come up with a numerical value of the velocity v. We were simply asked to come up with an expression for its velocity. So this indeed is the minimum value of v so that the bob will just barely swing through a complete vertical circle.
Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please click the thumbs up and also subscribe so you can stay tuned for similar videos. You can send in your own textbook style question to the email address on the screen and I'll do my best to post the solution to it on YouTube.